And now, let's do it. Here we go. Here we go now. The start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. Clay Thompson has been sensational. Yeah, you know, one of the things about the truly great of our game is that sometimes you get spoiled because of how consistent they can be. And so far, another big scoring night for him. And oftentimes when he puts up that many points in the first half, he follows it up with an even better second half. We'll see if that's the case here. now for Indiana. Mahimi's checked in for Lavoy Allen. Freak comes in for George. Solomon Hill he's checked in for Ellis. Rodney Stuckey's subbed in for George Hill. And then for Golden State, Spates checked in for Bogut. Barnes comes in for Andre Iguodala. And it's Barbosa in for Curry. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Thompson is the two with Barnes at the three. Maurice Spates out there with Green. And it's Barbosa in at the point. How about Harrison Barnes, the Black Falcon? I mean, he was a high school phenom in Ames, Iowa, and a lottery pick back in 2012 uh, after two seasons at Carolina. Remember also in high school, he was a teammate of Dougie McBucket. Barnes against Moore. Outside Hill. From beyond the arc, and Freak gets it to go on the assist by Hill. Ten points for Freak. Warriors trail by four. Harrison Barnes, of course, went to North Carolina, grew up as a huge fan of former Tar Heel Michael Jordan. Yeah, you know, interesting, his mother started taping Jordan's games on the VCR years before he was born. His given name, Harrison Bryson Jordan Barnes. How about that for I a factoid? I didn't know that. Nor did I. <laughs> That is such good work to make this a one possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. And it's one thing to get the steal, but to so alertly turn it into a transition opportunity, even better. Poke loose. Warriors shooting 43% from the floor. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Barnes has got it all tied up now for the Warriors. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. More up top, covered by Barnes. And more kicks to Stuckey. The 19-footer is on the money. Stuckey's got seven. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Barbosa passes to Thompson. Shoots from 12. No good off the back of the rim. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. No need to rush here. They can play for one shot. Yeah, and I think the way you do it, you're patient as you indicated, and wait until about the five-second mark before you get into your play. And Green gets it to go. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach. And we're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the some teams deciding to change it up. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter and an intentional foul right there. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. Shooting for the clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. More in at the three. Ellis is out there with Hill. And there's Hill, and it's Allen in at the power forward. So that's the group out there for Indiana. And that's exactly how you close the game. Execution, game. fellas. For sure. Do your job. Freak, you're our leader out there. Execute! Curry kicks to Thompson. They kick it out to Green. Iguodala outside. Thompson from long range. The shot is off. 
so it's Indiana picking up the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, and they got pushed down the stretch, but they did what they needed to do and held their ground when it mattered most and got the double. Hey. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris? a win like this impact the team's attitude going forward? It gives us confidence. Um, you know, it's always good to get a win, but it, it definitely gives us confidence. And, you know, keep us wanting to work even harder because um, uh, this one almost slipped away from us. Paul, congratulations, guys. A hard-working team is a dangerous team. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our entire 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And as the fans file out of the building, now time to head over to Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith for the postgame show. The 2K Sports postgame show. Hi again, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time now to present our Jordan player of the game, Paul George. The fourth quarter was all him. It was like he couldn't miss, and it was just one basket after another. Just a sensational performance on a lot of levels, Ernie. Too many levels to talk about. Man, in some game, he's in the background. He doesn't get the chance to be the star of the show. But not tonight. He's the star tonight. Put him on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Well, Paul George showing us again tonight why he is one of the premier wing players in the NBA. We know that defensively he's always going to do the job, but he's just as valuable on the other end, scoring off the catch or the dribble. And, folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure for Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal. This is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night.